Well, we've been through a lot of these games all year, the people that have fouled us, and I think it's nine games we looked at last night that uh, it was six or less, and a lot of them the same thing, where we had leads and uh, teams make runs, and then we, we get a little bit uh, dysfunctional, but tonight um, all three of these guys made some big plays. David back-to-back -back jump shots when we were kind of dying. Um, Mike with a big pull-up, and then Xavier with a big shot. Uh, down the stretch, uh, you know, I, I just, I'm happy for them. They grinded it out, uh, fought their butts off. I thought our defense was really, really good. Uh, slipped up a little bit uh, at the end of the half. Uh, you know, I know Bain has 16, but he had to take 17 shots and has five turnovers. And um, I thought Mike did a great job with everybody that, uh, you know, guarding him. So uh, I'm just happy for him. We get the live for another day and found a way, finally found a way to win a close game. And it's been a while since the second game of the season uh, at, at UNLV. So, oh, Tulsa, I forgot that one at Christmas. But um, some big plays, happy team effort, get to play another day. All right, Coach, thank you. Let's go to questions for our three student athletes. Again, please identify yourself and affiliation. Guys on the right. Yeah, I guess, Michael, just go for you, what, what was going through your mind when you made those plays coming down the stretch, and, and what do you think led to your success there? Um, same thing uh, Coach been preaching, X preached it before the game, uh, crunch time, we got our gut check time of the game, and being uh, not folding this time, and being ready for it, and executing and making the plays that we needed to make. And I was just focused, and along with my teammates, we, we were able to gut, uh, gut it out. Okay, here on the right side on the front row. Yeah, Matt Hall, Case It Online. Um, for Xavier and David, would you mind talking about uh, Mike's game tonight? Eight points, I think seven assists, six boards, just one turnover, and how big he was for you guys tonight? Um, I feel like, personally, I think Mike is really our glue guy. He had eight, six, and seven, and the stat, the stat sheet shows it, and he usually guards the best player other than Xavier. So I feel like he does a lot on the court. Okay, uh, just extreme like left. Just like you want said. one more? Okay, go ahead. Just like David said, you know, he does a lot out the court for us. Uh, sometimes it goes unnoticed, and today he just shined for us today. All right, uh, here on the extreme left. Mike over here, Kellis Robinette with the Wichita Eagle, Kansas City Star. Um, just with everything going on today and also it being a new season, new life for you guys, did you enter this game with a different, I don't know, attitude or mentality than usual? In a way, yes, but I mean, it really started on senior night when, uh, I mean, obviously X had the big game and we really played defense, but it also started against Kansas when we started to really lock in on defense. And um, we've just been trying to carry it over and improve from game to game. And I think we're really uh, building up to what we really uh, know we could have been or should be. Now on the right. Uh, this question is for really everybody, but especially Bruce. Uh, when it comes to Baylor, uh, your next opponent, it didn't go well the first time, you, the second time you played down in Waco, and now to play in front of what's going to essentially be 300, 350 people, uh, just your overall reaction to playing in what's going to be an empty arena tomorrow. Let's let our student athletes answer that first. Uh, it's definitely going to be a different feel, you know, uh, but it's basketball at the end of the day. Uh, you got to lace your shoes up the same way, got to go on, a, go on the court and make the plays, so. David? Yeah, basically what uh, X said, just you got to come out and play no matter who's in the stands and just be ready. Yeah, I piggyback off that. I mean, we're just trying to, regardless of who's in the stands, I mean, although we love to have a bunch of our fans in the crowd, but uh, regardless, we're trying to win the game. Coach, we'll let you respond to that too. You know, it's going to be different. Like the guys kind of tease like a, a preseason scrimmage. And, and we'll have, I think it's 125 tickets. That's what they're going to allow for family and, and staff. And um, so it'll be definitely a different feel. But you got you to come and play. And, uh, you know, that, that's what it's about. You know, for us, it's our last chance to – we said we had dreams and goals before the season. And uh, it didn't happen like we had hoped. But now you got one last chance to be something that you thought you could be. And we played them very well at our place. Obviously, at their place, it was, it was different, and they, they made every shot. Um, you know, so, you know, come and play. We had, a, we had a game. We had got to play. They didn't. So hopefully we're a little more ready. Other Xavier. questions for the student athletes before we let them go? Yeah, for Xavier. Um, 
You guys have been in this situation a lot this season, coming down to the wire, and it's gone the other way. What was special about tonight that allowed you guys to make the clutch plays late and win? Uh, like I said earlier, we just learned and grow from uh, all the experiences we had this season uh, and just kept, just kept uh, growing, like I said before. Uh, and these guys did a good job of buying into the scout, had a really good game, and we had uh, locked in on defense as well. Any other questions? No hands up. Okay, we'll let you guys uh, return to your locker room with Tom Gilbert. Thank you for coming. Congratulations on the victory, and we will see you tomorrow. Questions now for Coach Weber. Coach here in the middle on the right. Yeah, Bruce, just with everything that's gone on today and the news about the fans and the NCAA tournament, the Big 12 tournament, just what, what has been your reaction to it and how tough was it to stay focused through all that today? Uh, I mean, the, the big thing is we knew we were going to play a game tonight, and if, if you win, you get to play another one. And that's, that's the main thing for these guys to have that one more opportunity for the seniors. Um, I, I think what they said was right the last, uh, last stretch, probably after, after Baylor, the Kansas game. Played them really hard. I thought we really played hard against Oklahoma State. Uh, you know, same thing Iowa State. You know, Iowa State comes back tonight, and it, it takes a game winner to beat them. So, you know, it just if we guard and play that hard, uh, you know, I, I think we'll have a chance. Obviously, the got it helps to make a few shots. We did early. We didn't as it went on. But, uh, you know, grind it out, find a way to win. I, I would say that I, I – I know it's a tough decision, NCAA, the Big 12, everybody, but I, you know, I've kind of tried to watch, and, and we just can't let what happened in China and Italy happen to our country, and I think it's the best decision uh, for everybody. Uh, you know, we got to keep people healthy and safe, and that's, that's going to keep our country strong over the long haul. Okay, here on the front row on the right. Yeah, Matt Hall, Casey Online. Uh, Coach, I asked about Mike already, but on a night where you had 14 turnovers to 10 assists, he was 6-1 to one assist to turnover. Just how big was he for yeah, you guys tonight? Yeah, he made some big-time passes. He, the guys were teasing him, March Mike, in the locker room after the game because he's, he's had some pretty nice games and uh, through, the, through this time. And I, I'm happy for him. It, him and Dejuan have been in the gym just constantly. We've almost had to kick him out, to be honest. And, you know, he wants to do well. He knows if uh, we're going to move, not only this year, but even next year, he's got to be the leader. He's got to be the, he's been through it. And it was good to see some things go for him. And that's a great line. And guard Bain, you know, that, who who is really, really good. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Riley Gaines from GoPowerCat.com. Coach, you just kind of touched on it there with, you know, what's best for the country and everything like that. But, I mean, you wake up tomorrow and, and the Big 12 comes out and says, we're just not going to do it, kind of like the NBA has said tonight. I mean, wh wh how do you go from there? I mean, that's just probably the end of it all. It would be sad. It would be sad. But uh, at the, if they make that decision, obviously it would be an educated decision um, where, again, for, you know, trying to protect everybody's health. And, we don't want our country locked down like Italy is right now, where no one, everyone's quarantined. And, um, you know, it's scary. I'm old, so I'm in that group, you know, that people die. So I don't want to die. So I want people to, I want people healthy, and including myself. I got a grandson coming soon, any day now. I want to be able to hug and hold him and, uh, you know, play with my other grandkids. So we got, we got to do what we have to do. Um, I, I, you know, I'd feel for the kids. I feel right now for the Ivy League kids. I, I know they canceled their spring sports because the kids, they work so hard. But at the same time, we're talking about the long haul of, of our country and what it, what it, you know, what it means to stay strong and healthy. In the middle here on the coach's right. Coach Curtis Quillen, KCEN TV in Waco. You've played Baylor twice this year. Didn't go your way either time. What do you feel you guys need to address before tomorrow night's quarterfinal? Well, we got We have to guard them, and and then we can't let. The first time we were not ready, we spotted them. What twenty-two to two, I think it was, and then we came all the way back, cut it to one. They made the shot before half. You know, played. We were in the game, pretty much on and off the whole game, uh, but we, we have to guard them. We can't give them the easy ones, the easy looks. Uh, they got great guard play, very unselfish, and then their their defense. I thought early was really disrupting. You know, some of the injuries, some of that has kind of taken a little toll on them. But, uh, you know, Scott's done an unbelievable job. Uh, I know his big go dream and goal is, you know, get deep into the tournament. And uh, I'm sure he'd like to get a little momentum here. So I'm sure they'll be ready to play. Okay, extreme left. Hey, 
Bruce, this is two games in a row now where you've had really good starts. I think you were up 10-2, something like that early. Is there something to the change there? I, you know, we, you know, you could say we put Pearson in last time and he helped us get going. This time we went with Dejuan. I think the biggest thing is we guarded. And, and that's, you know, that's, that's big. And that, that gives you a chance. We've got him played hard. And, uh, you know, and even, you know, even Cardi, Cardi had the good start. Uh, he got a little shaky in the second half. And, uh, but, you know, he, he's a guy who can break people down and make plays for us. So if we can just keep him solid, it, it's when you talk about Baylor, he's the key because he's one guy that can get by people along with David. Now, if they can make the right play, the right pass, obviously it helps us. Any other questions for coach? Okay, we'll take one last question, middle left. Uh, Ryan Black, Manhattan Mercury. Uh, Bruce, this is the first time since you guys started 4-0 uh, that you guys have won back-to-back -back games this season. Uh, is that, is, one, is that hard to believe? And two, just how good of a feeling is that you guys are putting a little bit of momentum together? Yeah, it's, I thought senior day gave us a little momentum. Um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a long time. It was uh, obviously a long month of February for us. Uh, you know, to the guys' credit, to our staff's credit, um, you know, we had a couple. Baylor probably was maybe our, our worst game. Uh, where, you know, and some of it was them, and some of it was us. But for the most part, they've come to play. And like I said, just go through the scores. And, you know, number one team in the country, we're tied 48 deep, deep into the game. And uh, they made the plays tonight. We were fortunate they didn't make that three at the end, and we made a couple big stops, got a rebound. And uh, the guys were, why'd you call timeout? I just did not want anything to go wrong. Follow a three-pointer that goes in, that would have been – Kind of typical of our season, but we were able to get a win.